get you UH Bible now. It includes the NIV, the NASB, and many more. Buy one now and get a free Harry Potter book. Backed by big names like which Madame Blavatsky, whom Westcott and Hort admired. Deny the infallibility of scripture, the reality of heaven and hell, and much, much more. Impress your new age friends at school by denying Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Is God in the flesh and shall return soon. Fit right into the new age revival right now, which claims we all worship the same God. Why not try a new King James Version, which has the Aquarian conspiracy mark on the front cover, three integrated sixes. Feel like wonderful beast now. Get your new age Bible now. In store while stocks last. Ah, uh, that was very humanous, John Bob. Uh, very good. Very good. Anyway, I just thought, I felt the Holy Spirit wanted me to do, uh, you know, that advert, and I just want to give a personal testimony about the King James Version. Now, I started reading the Bible when I was about 15 or 16, when I asked Jesus Christ into my life, I received the Holy Spirit. And I started reading a Gideon Bible, which I received at uh, the Boys Brigade that I used to go to. I knew that this was food for my soul, and that basically the Holy Spirit, which I just received, it testifies uh, that Jesus is the Son of God, and He's risen from the dead, and He sits at the right hand of the Father. All these good things was in me, so would be able to basically help me uh, study the Word of God. Even though at the time the Gideons were using a uh, King James Version, it wasn't the authorized version, and there was some words missing which the Holy Spirit was actually testifying to me about. I would read a sentence and I would hear the Spirit of God saying it should what it should read. Uh, I don't know if anybody's had that experience before, but I, especially in the book of Acts um, and some other books as well. And I also felt that the book of Mark was incomplete as well. Uh, but the point is that uh, the Texas Receptus um, is the best manuscript of the Word of God and the New Age translations which I was speaking about earlier which covers the New World Translation, New American Standard Version, NIV as we see here um, you can actually see the actual changes they've made and they've actually deleted a lot of scriptures from the original um, it's just because they use a different manuscript that's uh, the reason um, basically the Hellenistic manuscript was rejected by the early church now when I started going to a church I used to actually use the NIV um, I used it maybe for just a few months um, after I was baptized and uh, I started to read you know, the Old Testament as well and I asked uh, the Lord if um, this was the version that I, He wanted me to use and within a few days um, the Lord sent me a person um, who was actually waiting for me in a bookshop uh, this man was born again. He had heard the voice of the Lord tell him to actually wait on me in a bookshop on a certain day. Um, that day I was going to go, but I actually ended up going the next day. So he went back the next day. The Holy Spirit told him to go back, and I was there the next day. And basically the man uh, gave me the testimony about the King James Bible, all the errors that are in the modern Bibles. And they're not just errors. Basically, they support a New Age doctrine. Um, and basically the links below will go into deeper detail about this but I would like you to pray about this as well um, I've, I, I, I watched a video last night I think it was Liz Elijah she, um, she's, she's not pro King James only um, me personally I'm just saying that there's new age translations out there I'm not saying that there's other uh, quite credible Bible versions but uh, I just feel basically the Holy Spirit was telling me to defend the King James Bible um, as it's seen a really good history, it's seen a great history of revival um, and Bible teaching around the world and as we know um, in third world countries the, the best used um, version of the Bible is the King James Version it's even read in the Catholic churches, a lot of Protestants wouldn't even believe that if they heard it but I can assure you it's, it's true um, because these guys know uh, you know, they listen to the Holy Spirit and they know what the Word of God is. Now, if there is, there is maybe one or two small compatible gr grammatical uh, things that you could dispute in the King James Version, but the, it does not change doctrine. Basically, the NIV and so on actually go ahead and they delete um, passages that doesn't fall into the doctrine um, that they want, okay? And basically, um, 
these translators such as Westcott and Hort were very much influenced by uh, witchcraft and occultism. Um, I believe there was even Luciferians in the actual translation committee um, of these um, modern versions, which you can check out. I will leave more links below for you to check out. But again, I'll just say pray about it and see what Jesus, well, see what Yeshua says um, about this. You can even get, of course, a Hebrew names version of the King James Bible. And I know the actual publisher in the United Kingdom. Uh, and it does actually sell the whole complete uh, original King James Bible, which includes the Apocrypha as well. You know, basically, the King James Bible is seen through several generations, you know, the great industrial age, you know, when uh, wealth was built up in the, you know, especially United Kingdom, America, and the, the missionaries went out and preached the word of God, and there was enough wealth to spread around. If you compare that to today, where most of the churches are using, like, say, the NIV, what you're seeing is um, a lot of immorality in the churches, homosexuality. Um, again, you know, the, there's there's a link about that, um, about Westcott and Hort, their sexuality. Some people say that King James was a homosexual, but in fact, King James wasn't the one who actually translated the scriptures, so there is a big difference uh, in the translation committee of the King James Version and the NIV and NISV and so on. Um, if you would open your Bibles to 1 John 5.7, I'll give you a scripture to test um, the Bible that you have against what the Word of God should be. It reads, For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Verse 8 says, And there are three that bear witness in the earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three are one. So if you don't find anything wrong with uh, these verses, and you don't have them in your Bible, then someone else has decided for you that uh, these verses are not the Word of God, and they've actually deleted, especially the verse 7. They've changed the verse, they've actually shortened it, um, to say that uh, there is no Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, because um, you know these translators, such as Westcott and Hort and others, do not believe in the so-called Trinity that we have. Um, as mentioned in the scriptures, especially revealed through Jesus Christ in the New Testament. He is the Word of God and the Son of the Living God, which they don't testify to. So you will actually find that all verses that relate to Jesus being the Son of God, um, most of them have been deleted, especially in the NIV. Uh, they actually don't believe that Jesus um, was born of a virgin either. Uh, they actually believe that Joseph was his father and it wasn't actually Yahweh. Um, that was the father of Jesus Christ, as all Christians would testify to. So it shows you that these um, are inferior manuscripts that were rejected by the first church and that have basically occult roots um, and that witches such as Blavatsky and so on um, actually used their translations. So if you're finding it hard to get your head around this, just know that we're in the last days, we're in the end times. Um, confess that Yeshua, that Jesus is the Son of God and accept him into your heart now. Thank you for listening.